Meghan Markle's recent foray into the business world has raised eyebrows, with potential legal implications looming over her new venture. The Duchess of Sussex made waves by unveiling her lifestyle brand, America Rivera Orchard, through the brand's official Instagram page. Emblazoned with the title by Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, the profile bio signals a clear connection to its royal founder, linking to a minimalist website with a neutral color palette, teasing upcoming products and inviting visitors to join a waiting list for updates. However, this seemingly innocuous launch has sparked concerns about compliance with agreements made during the Sussex's exit from the royal family. Russell Myers, associate editor at The Mirror, took to social media platform X, formerly Twitter, to highlight potential pitfalls for Meghan's venture. Sharing a screenshot of the brand's website, Myers raised the issue of commercial activity conflicting with agreements made with the royal family. His observation suggests that the inclusion of products on the website could constitute a violation of the agreement prohibiting the Sussexes from profiting off their royal titles. The post underscores the need for vigilance in monitoring the Sussexes' business endeavors and their adherence to the terms laid out in the Sandringham Agreement. The Sandringham Agreement, a pivotal document signed by Meghan and Prince Harry upon their departure from official royal duties, imposes restrictions on the couple's use of their royal titles for financial gain in their post-royal lives. These constraints were presumably intended to safeguard the integrity of the monarchy and mitigate concerns about the commercialization of royal status. However, Meghan's latest venture appears to flirt with the boundaries of these stipulations, prompting scrutiny and speculation about potential repercussions. The implications of Meghan Markle's business venture extend beyond mere commercial activity, delving into complex legal and ethical terrain. While the Duchess may have sought to carve out a new identity and pursue entrepreneurial ambitions outside the confines of royal life, the specter of legal entanglements threatens to overshadow her aspirations. Moreover, the public nature of the Sussexes' departure from the royal family means that every move they make is subject to intense scrutiny and analysis, amplifying the significance of their compliance with contractual obligations. As observers await further developments in this unfolding saga, the spotlight remains firmly fixed on Meghan Markle and the potential ramifications of her entrepreneurial pursuits. Whether her brand will navigate the murky waters of royal protocol unscathed or face legal consequences for overstepping its bounds remains to be seen. In the meantime, stakeholders on all sides of the debate continue to parse the intricacies of the Sandringham Agreement and its implications for the Sussex's post-royal endeavors. Amidst the uncertainty, one thing is clear, Meghan's venture has reignited discussions about the intersection of fame, privilege and responsibility in the modern era.